I'm David the Bruce, and this is Jungle Queens, where we take a look at the white women of Africa that were all the rage. These were the warriors, these were the go-getters, these were the um, examples of independent women long before um, modern feminist movement came around. In 1935, uh, Jungle Queen movies were being made all over the place and it was still more to come even up through the 50s, maybe even um, dripping into the 80s, yeah. And uh, the comic books, wow, legendary. But this particular one, um, Queen of the Jungle is interesting because it uses archival footage from the jungle goddess, I believe it was 1922. How about that, huh? They could uh, recycle footage from a former Jungle Queen film in this one. And uh, it also stars uh, Mary Kornman. Now, Mary Kornman is kind of interesting because she had her major start in our gang comedy. I mean, Holy cow, it just about knocked my socks off when I, when I discovered that. Queen of the Jungle with Mary Kornman. Absolutely. Here we go. Thanks. 
on the tell me, old man. But I've got a hunch this is going to be a pretty swell day. Rizzuti! Rizzuti! Who are you, Faker? Yumba! Uh, Yumba! Yumba! Now that we know the cure works, I'm not afraid to try it on you. Lana, Lana, meet me in bail. Meet me in bail, Lana. Mimi and Bill. Mimi and Bill. Mimi and Bill. Mimi and Bill, Luana. Mimi and Bill. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, but lead on, McDuff. Luana. 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 Mimi and Bill. Mimi and Bill. Chapula. 
All right, Friday. Go ahead and tell the missus we're coming to dinner. I only hope she's not the type that throws pans at uninvited guests. You and he. Well, I guess the time has come to open those big brown eyes. I guess dinner is served. Well, that's the first good meal I've had in a long time. So many? Food. Food? Yes. Food. Say, what is this going to be? Another one of those English lessons? What? Oh, skip it. Till it large in the jungle. They must be found. My men cannot find them. They must be destroyed. Send your beaters into the jungle. Arouse the animals. Oh, now you've got me doing it. 
Thank you, Hapa. Thanks, but I'll just shake down out here. One in the MCU.
you scream? Are you all right? Oh, Daniel! Ah! Oh, let me do Radium, not the furniture zoo. I couldn't pass up a chance to make you a little extra money. We're going after the radium now. Hey, for five years, you've been bringing me little dabs of radium without knowing where the mine is. I'm going to find it. I've been taking this stuff out of the jungle for you and bringing you the money. Now, I want to know where you get this radium. That I cannot tell you. It is brought to me out of the jungle by... Uh, let it go for the time being. We ain't in no hurry. There are only two white people know where the radium came from. One, a white girl called the Queen of the Jungle. The other, a man who came to take her back to her people. You mean there was a white dame ahead of a tribe? She is dead. Ain't that a shame? She might have fitted in swell with that collection of wild animals you got aboard ship.
Well, that was a... Uh, uh, housekeeper. Have some water? Can do that. Sleepyhead. Oh, do you? No, you mustn't say that. Say, good morning. Good morning? That's right. Now you've got it. But first, your fruit, my lady. Right. for finding the radium mine. Well, we get all the men we can from the ship and come back. Look! Hello! English. I wonder who that can be. How do I know? Maybe it's Robinson Crusoe. Hello! Come on. Let's see who it is. Well, you're the first two white men I've seen in months. What are you doing here? Say up. Oh, Swahili, hey? I'll speak for her. She's Joan Lawrence. I've been hearing about a white man that rescued the queen of the jungle, was trying to bring her back to her people. Yeah. Know anything about her? Why? Nothing, only the girl was supposed to be dead. I thought maybe she might be the dame. So what are you driving at? You ever seen anything like this before? No. Look, Asa, Jilly's gone. Of the radium mine, and you're the one telling me. 
What makes you think that we know where it is? I picked this up in the jungle the other day, and we had that little argument. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, when did you find out? We talk it over in the morning. All right, and you've got it. Oh, there's no hurry. I see. Well, the little lady can have the cabin right next to mine. And you can have the one right next to hers. And you'll find them right down the companionway. Well, that's very nice of you. Oh, not at all. Good night. Waiting. He won't talk, and she can't talk English. So what? Well, we get him out of the way. It'll be easy enough to make her talk. I've been in the jungle long enough to understand a little of her lingo. Now you stay right here. I'm going out and take a look around, see if there's any chance of escape.
I wonder what that means. Get out, you lovers. Get out. A bit faster there. radium deposit in the world. I am the only living soul that knows where it is. <laughs> I want you to share my fortune with me. Look. Take these maps. They'll show you just exactly where the radium is. <laughs> you have... Uh, you have... If you will permit us to camp here tonight, we will talk more of the radium. And I'll tell you all I know. And I'll also tell you how my little daughter got lost in the balloon one morning. Hey, you, come here. Get that girl and bring her here. All right, sir. Why not? 
Hey, listen. If you can't un understand English, I can talk your language, all right. Guinea, MTU radio. Radio? Guinea. Hey, look at here. You understand, all right. Radio. Mazooka, MTU radio. Oh. Uh, I think you understand, all right. What did you say?
I see from the dory. I'll see if we can find something dry anyhow. Here. Try these to size. No, no, no. I don't like this. Turn loose. Hey, hey, hey. Just a minute. And then put this on. I'll be back in a minute. Yes. 
No, something's wrong. But just a minute, I'll look in Robinson Crusoe's grab bag here. She will be fine. Now, now, this is just the ticket. Oh! Well, I don't suppose I know much more about this than you do. Yeah, how's that? Seeing things. I wonder what that can be. Maybe we can check our location over there. We must place our son on the throne, or our power of the moon is broken. But no one knows we have a son. That is why he must be made a son of moon. If our power is broken, we will lose the secret of the radium mine. I'll bring him. You have brought white men into the sacred temple of Mu. They have killed one of our priests. The great God is sending a living son to replace him. You will leave this room. When you return, he will be here. You will continue to wear the crown and the sacred sign of moon. And my son, hide behind the throne, and you will appear only when I call you. I've seen all the jungle, but this place is new to me.
funny we don't see somebody around. Because of him that the great god of moon sent the chimpanzee in place of his son. These white intruders must be sacrificed before the great god will send his only son to us. An excellent idea. We will allow these intruders to enter the throne room and then seize them. He shall be sacrificed to the sacred tiger. I'm sorry that the queen of the jungle must remain me.
Mazuka.
thank heaven you're safe. Sacrifice these intruders. means goodbye to you. Build a trap to capture the leopard wolf. The maps of the white man do not lie. We must get in the valley. At first, the leopard woman who guards the entrance must be captured. Why not the gun? Oh no. It's better to take her alive. She must talk. White woman in a trap. Who are you? What are you doing here? Well, you speak English. The queen of the jungle has returned. I have you. I want to talk to you. Come quickly. A white man and girl have rescued the leopard woman. Where is this white man and girl? With the leopard woman. Take me to them. That valley looks familiar. Brad. I'm David Worth. I've David been a... Worth? I've heard of your attempt to rescue a white girl from the jungle. 
You've heard of it? Her father told me. The father? I have many things to discuss with you. Will you share my camp tonight? Well, gladly. So Mr. Lawrence gave you his map and told you where he thought the rating was located? Why? I'm afraid that you'll find him slightly, um, peculiar. It's the result of what he went through in the jungle. You mean you think his mind has been affected? A little. Had I stolen this map, you think I would be telling you what I know? Well, Mr. Lawrence was right. And here's a tube of the radium. What about Mrs. Lawrence? Mrs. Lawrence? Why, he told me that his wife was dead. Well, then we'll go to the cabin in the morning, and you'll give me men and horses. Why, of course. I shall return this, and in the morning we shall talk of radium again. Right. Now, don't tell me. Um, come to <laughs> Tonight. Good night.
saved your life and you saved mine. It is best that you live a young girl. Well, I as don't fast think... as you can. But the... There's those who decide your death. You watch me, watch me, Wuka. A later red. Come back to the Garden of Rad. You in your absence, I have been made ruler of the tribe of Rad. What took her? To fix your hand, feel. A pana, a pana. Kill, kill. Me, me, Opa. Quilla. Quilla.
open paper. your daughter, Joan. 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 I've got my baby back. You brought her back to me, David. Joan, don't you understand? This, your father. 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 Lord. So you speak to Haley? Yes. Tell her that this is her father. Hey, Zinger. Let's see you. Hey. Hmm. 
Mr. Lawrence, this is the place you've been looking for. The radium is near here. Radium? Yes. Enough for all the world to use. Well, that belongs to you and Joan. But we must get her out of this jungle as quickly as possible and forever. I don't go and see you, Kufu. Huh? Oh, get that. <laughs> Mary Cornman was born in 1915 to a family of gorgeous women. Not only was her mother exceptionally beautiful, but so was her aunt, her mother's sister, who was a Ziegfeld girl under the name of Jerry Rogers. And Mary's younger sister, whose real name was Mildred Jean Cornman, became a successful model under the name of Ricky Van Dusen, with 36 film credits to her name. Mary was just five years old when her dad, Jean Cornman who was famed actor Harold Lloyd's still cameraman, brought her to the studio. The director of one of Hal Roach's shorts featuring little kids spotted Mary and was offered her the leading lady role in the newest Hal Roach's Rascals short, The Champion. Her sister, Mildred, also became part of the original R Gang comedies, but was cast in a lesser role. Interestingly, she is still alive as of 2022 and is the only surviving member of the original cast. As Mary grew older, she transitioned into mature roles and continued successfully into the talky era, starring in mostly B movies. She acquired 93 film credits from 1922 to 1940, an 18 years career. my boyfriend. But I guess he isn't here. To lose. He'll pitch. Finally, she retired from acting and spent the balance of her years with her second husband, Ralph McCutcheon, tending to their horse ranch. However, she kept close with her Hollywood acquaintances and friends. When asked if Mary was as kind and genuine a person as she appeared to be on screen, her sister Mildred replied, she was all of that and more. Unfortunately, Mary Cornman passed away on June 1, 1973, in Glendale, California, after a dreadful battle with cancer. She was just 57 years old. Her beloved husband died two years later. When asked in 1960 what she thought of being part of our gang, Mildred Cornman replied, it was fun being a gang member. It was play. I have no regrets, I think we had a privileged childhood working in those films. And it can be said that both Mary and her sister had not only a privileged childhood but also a very privileged life altogether.